Hello there and welcome to the Cool Beans television show. I am the artist formerly known as Chris Arnold. No, I'm Hungry Jim. It's the TV show guaranteed... Hello? No, I don't think I have been missed on PPI. No, I don't want an upgrade on my mobile phone. No, I already have three mankinis, thank you very much. Oh, where was I? Oh yeah, it's the... Coming up on the show today. Extreme challenges. Lance Anker presents. We meet a French magician called Benoit. And some other stuff. I've already got plenty of powdered water back in my flat, thank you very much. Now, Hungry Jim, do you promise that on today's episode there's going to be no weird dream sequences of you dreaming up these crazy TV shows that nobody in their right mind would watch? Sure, if you stop delivering these dry monologues. It's a deal. But I do think there is scope out there for a TV show presented by two slightly overweight mid 20 year olds talking about various subject matters. I don't want to be something all day. Enjoy. 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 Hello there and welcome to the Cool Beans television show. Wait a minute! <laughs> the sandwich. A cornerstone of the British food industry. But what devils lie within this Bermuda Triangle of nutrition? I'm Lance Anker for Cool Beans television and I'm about to find out. This is a city street, and I am Lance Anker. Da -da -da -da. Do you oh. eat brown or white bread? It depends. Best I prefer both. brown. Best brown. of both? Yeah, brown. Are you brown. aware that there is free range bread available in most supermarkets? Oh, Are you having us on? I don't know. No, this is completely <laughs> serious. You lied to me. He lied to him, ladies and gentlemen. He was lied to. I am sitting on a bench. I am in a cafe. Excuse me, sir. Do any of the sandwiches you sell contain free-range bread? Free-range bread? Yes. I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. And there we have it. Da -da -da -da. Every year in the UK, there are over 20 billion loaves of bread baked. And of those 20 billion, only 0.015% are free-range bread. Da -da -da -da. I am swimming in a sea of 20,000 students. Today at this university, eight million sandwiches will be consumed by their greedy mouths, and not one of them will be free-range bread. As we can see here, there has been quite literally a feast on non-free-range bread sandwiches. I felt like my petition wasn't being taken seriously enough, so I decided to stand outside the town hall with a sign. We care about the chickens. We care about the eggs. It's time to use your loaf and care about the bread. This is Lance Anker for Cool Beans Television. Next time you eat bread, make sure you go free range. Well, if you're not quite sure what time it is, it's time for Chris Arnold of the week. Yeah, Chris Arnold of the week. The results are in. This week's Chris Arnold of the week is Chris Arnold. Yes, yes. The baseball player from California. What? Well, if you're not quite sure what time it is, it's time for the Chris Arnold of the week. Yeah, Chris Arnold of the week. Pick a card, any card. Look at the card. Now give me back the card. Is this your card? Wow, that's a neat trick. I'll show you a real magic trick though. Go on. See this donut? Yeah. I'm going to make it disappear. How? Look, a goose. I can't see any goose. There's no goose over there. Oh, go! Wow. Blue. 
Today we're spending time with the French magician Benoit Pierre. But where is he? Ooh. Ah! Shazam! Ah! You're like a Victorian car salesman. Mm. May I touch your wand? Please. Oh, be very gentle. Oh, your balls are rolling all over the place. Yeah, I know. No. That's, that's what they do best. But anyway, you are a French magician. You come from France. Uh, I think, yeah. You can speak French. Um, I can speak a bit of French as well. I'm just going to try some out on you. Uh, you, might teach, you might teach me some. J'aime tes pantalons et ton ananas et tes pompons. J'aime tes boules. Do you think me and Jimmy could learn some tricks? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everyone can. Do you think anyone could be a magician? Actually, um, I don't teach tricks, but I can uh, we help you to be a bit more magic. You know? Okay, yeah. That'd be yeah, great, yeah, be especially great, yeah. in the bedroom. There's quite a few things we can do. I'll just do a, a small, small, you know, small experience of my usual thing. I need your hand. Uh, I've actually just like the ball, I've been told you like them big. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, we might just do this this way. <laughs> <laughs> can you go any bigger? All right, then. Well, we can try. That's how it would work. I can try to. Uh, this big. Do you know what this is? A lighter. Fantastic. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. That's magic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. uh, I'm gonna need you to, uh, to light it up. Do you want to light it up for me? Sure. And we're gonna try something. You ready? One. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Do you think maybe you could cut Chris in half for me? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I got the right thing on me. Yeah. <sighs> Chris, Chris, where are you? Ah! Benoit Pierre, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much. Yeah, whatever. Just uh, we don't get out of my house now. Uh -huh. cup of tea you parched are you parched i'm absolutely parched go and look in the cupboard over there there's some tea bags take down the box get them out we'll have a nice cup of tea brilliant we'll pop the kettle on then yeah nice one that'd be great what's the matter what do you mean you can't find the tea bags i can't believe it we've run out of tea <laughs> Tea bags in the coffee jar, my mistake. They've been here all along. That was stupid, wasn't it? Easy mistake to make, though. Do you take milk? Where have I put that? I found the lid, but not the milk. I can't believe it. This can't be. Be, 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 be. We've run out of milk!
No, I do not want groin insurance. Do you remember that drum and bass music video we filmed in 1998? No, the one about running out of tea. Well, I've got a picture here of me and you from the shoot on the day, don't you remember? No. What? I've got an audio recording of you talking about how much you love that day. Filming that music video was the best day of my no life. Family. I remember that. Time for a break. Oh no! A blemish! I have a math test tomorrow, whatever shall I do? Eww, that spot is disgusting, Lindsay. Now you're ugly and no boys will ever like you. Maybe you'll die alone. In a ditch. I could put foundation on it. Yeah, if you want to look like Medusa, the monster from Greek mythology that was that ugly she could turn people to stone with a face. So listen to me. I'm Darren Slater, stylist to the stars. There we go, Lindsay. All done. Wow, that looks great. It totally distracts away from my hideous spot. Now I'll ace that Spanish exam. That's right, Lindsay. Thanks to Distracto Horn. Distracto Horn uses a unique, award-winning formula of distractive pentides that cause disorientation and confusion in onlookers. So, any blemishes or scars pale in comparison. 317 of the women we asked said the Distracto Horn powerfully affected their lives. Wow, it certainly changed this young lady's life. And the best thing is, it's permanent, so you only need to apply once. Thanks, Distracto Horn. Put your thumb up, Lindsay. Distracto Horn. Yours today for only $399.99 per horn. Hello? Welcome back to the Cool Beans television show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is here. It's for you. Miriam, darling. Yeah, the diet's going very well, thank you. Yeah, just having a light afternoon snack. Definitely less than 8,000 calories. Yeah, I probably won't be at the centre this week. I've uh, got to go fishing with my Uncle Trout. Yeah, I've been doing loads of exercise recently. I've been uh, budgie juggling, been whip snapping, been uh, urban swimming. Hi, I'm Donald Chump. And I'm Max Triple X. And this, this is Extreme, Extreme Challenges. Challenges. Extreme. Extreme. Today's challenge is urban swimming. Extreme. The rules are, there are no rules. Apart from one rule, whoever swims on the most things wins. Extreme. So here's the toss up for who goes first. You're the best at tossing, so you go first. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to urban swimming. Max Triple X gets us underway on the alley bar. Lovely technique there, pushes off, and he's straight on to the grip bucket. He struggled on the grip bucket before, that looks good. Yeah, easing through the gears now, conserving energy. Is he going for the wall? Now, on the wall, this is classic Max. That is not good, though. Left arm caught, don't like that, he's uncomfortable. I think he might have got away with that. Is he gonna drop for the floor? Now, let's pick this up, Max, come on. Breaststroke, front crawl, that's nice. That's nice, head wobbling a bit. He's got time now, four completed swims. Will he go for the car? Max is jo he's going past the trees, he's going for the car. He's going for the car, Max is going for the car. That is excellent urban swimming on the car. Look at his breathing there. Let, can we have a replay of that? Look at the breathing from Max Triple X. Nostrils, flaring, mouth, open. That is lovely. Donald Trump, you've got a lot to live up to. He's on the alley bar. He's, oh, Donald Trump's down. Donald Trump's down. He's struggling. Oh, this is poor. This is really poor. Donald Trump's writhing on the ground. I don't like the look of this. Really sad to see a great competitor like Donald Trump struggling. Max wins. Max Triple X is the victor. He's standing on Donald Trump. He's laughing now. Lovely to see. Well done, Max. Excellent performance. I love Donald Trump. Oh, hi there. I'm Sean Ryder. And when I'm not riding my bike, I'm watching the Cool Beans television show. Delightful. On the news tonight, 
We meet the woman who left everything behind to become a conga line starter. But the question is, will her family get behind her on this one? I'm trying to weather with Big Bassy. Hello? Hey up, it's Big Bassy here with weather. As you can tell, it's night time. So there ain't no weather, it's just dark. Thanks very much to Big Bassy there. Do you know that he has a face? And what a lovely face. Another man who has a lovely face is our next special guest. He's the world's greatest air drummer. It's Dave Rocks the Drums. Can I just say before we start the, uh, the segment that you've got two minutes with Dave. Anything over two minutes? No. All right? Okay. 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 Good. You are the world's greatest air drummer. I am. I am. At what age did you start? Exactly four years old. Mm. On my fourth birthday, I started wailing my arms around, and that's when I knew I was the world's greatest air drummer. Did you play any other air instruments as a, as a child? Started air guitar from the age of six. Mm. Didn't pay off, I couldn't get the thing in tune. I can actually play the air trombone. Really? Yeah, do you want to see? Please. Pretty well, good, huh? Pretty good. Mm. That is very good. That's some of the best air trombone I've ever seen. Yeah. Mm. Have you got an agent? I don't. Can you? Yeah. Sure. We'll talk. Let's get back to you and the music. Uh, how did it feel to be the first musician to ever record in outer space? You don't have to answer that. Can I? Yes. It was fantastic. It was amazing. One of the best experiences of my air drumming career. Oh, right. fantastic. Let's hear a little bit more about it. What, what was the album called? And, and It's called In Space No One Can Hear You Drum. It's a four disc, 27 track album. Mm. Um, every song lasts roughly nine, nine minutes. Mm. Um, but that in no way deters from its creative value and the mind that is mm. Dave Rocks the Drums. Right. It's out on Thursday. Thursday. Isn't every track just silence, though? <laughs> Don't they say that Silence is golden. They, they do say that. Do they? they do. Okay. They do. We are blessed to mm. have a live performance coming up from you next, if, if that's okay. Um, he does have a school disco to get to, so if we could make it quick, if that's okay. okay. I'm, I'm sure yeah. we can do. What are you going to perform for us this evening? You know what? I might do Speed Thrash. Before you perform for us in mm -hmm. a minute, can I just ask, is Dave Rocks the Drums your real name? Yeah. Yes, it is. Is is it? Yes. It is it? Yes, it is. It's not. What? What's your real name? John Davis. School disco, four minutes. Speed thrash. Speed thrash can wait. Hello? No, his name's John Davis. I know! 